Welcome to the Sowing Seed Podcast. One guy's thoughts on family, faith, farming, and financial freedom. Now, from the studio, office, workout room, trash get ball court. Yep, you almost made it in the wastebasket, buddy. Here's your host, Matt Miller. What's your spare tire? We recently got a brand new used car, and as we were test driving a multitude of different vehicles to figure out ultimately what we were going to buy, each and every time, one of the questions that we had as we were checking those vehicles out is, where is the spare tire? How do you access it? Well, when driving, it just makes complete and total sense to make sure that you've got a spare that you can utilize so that if you have a blowout or a flat, you've got something to change out and to continue your journey at least to some place where that tire can be replaced or repaired. Well, it's natural for us to expect that when it comes to driving a car, but why is it very few of us have a spare tire when it comes to income. I got started in vending for that very reason, because I was frustrated with my corporate career. I was frustrated with the decisions that were being made because of stockholders and that type of thing to where I wasn't really being cared a whole heck of a lot organizationally, nor were any of the other employees. There were other priorities. And the rules were always changing and they never seemed to be changing in in my favor. So I realized I needed to start doing some stuff on the side. I needed to create a spare tire of income that would allow my family and I to have some more stability and some more security because some of those corporate decisions put us in a really, really bad spot financially. Well, initially we collected aluminum cans. I sold books on Amazon years ago, back before selling on Amazon was cool. My garage actually looked like a library with all the used books that that we had. But I had also read Rich Dad, Poor Dad and had bought into the whole idea of passive or residual income. And so that's what led me into vending, initially candy and gumballs and Over time, that morphed into toys and temporary tattoos and stickers. And of course, in 07 and 08, when the market crashed, revenues went down even with our vending route and the whole idea for School Spirit Vending, the national franchise that I founded 10 and a half years ago, came about during that period of time. Having a spare tire, working nights, weekends, moonlighting, doing things outside of our full-time career to provide some more stability, some more security for our family, so that in the event that we do have something happen, we have the ability to weather the storm. Important step for each and every one of us to take. There's any kind of option, as we all know today, online, and technology and the tools available have made this simpler than ever before. For me, the whole purpose and the reason why I chose vending was real simple, though, because I could put a machine out and literally within a couple of weeks see a return, whereas many of these online options take time. Now, of course, you've got Airbnb, you've got Uber, you know, there's more and more sharing type platforms that enable people to make money. In fact, I know a bunch of folks that are making money that way on top of their careers. I would just challenge you, if you are not doing so, if you do not have a spare tire, there is no time like the present because unfortunately, none of us can predict tomorrow in our careers or in anything else for that matter. We can't predict what's gonna happen in the economy. We can't predict any of that. So the more options you have, the more options you have to lean on, the better off we all are. What's your spare tire? God bless you. Thanks for listening. Check out our website, sowingseed.net, the Sewing Seed channel on YouTube. And if you got something out of today's podcast, give us a five-star review on your podcast player of choice. Until next time, go plant the seed you need to succeed.